again. We're just outside of Kanab, headed for Johnson Canyon. Gonna head up through the Scutum Paw Road and over to the Crawford Pass on the Deer Springs Ranch. Got that old water truck on the back. We're gonna stop and drop it off at the ranch headquarters. Fill it full of water. We'll be going through about 2,000 gallons of water a day with all the animals we got on this trip. So we'll get a little bit of footage and show you a little tidbit of what we're doing out on our R&R &R time. We're gonna be gone from the 21st to the 30th. Should be a pretty good time. One of those little traditions we do every year and keep our heritage alive. So thanks for coming along for the ride. Chevy Duramax on a dirt road hauling a water truck. Leon. Got Leon there in the back. He's working us over, keeping tabs on things. break it to you guys but we live in one of the prettiest places on the planet southern Utah is something else if you've never been here you should make it a priority because it is one pretty place pretty nice out here it's about 77 degrees we're just going on to the first section of Deer Springs Ranch it's all a big old uh, ranch out here in the middle of nowhere all private property and pretty amazing place so we'll take you right into the headquarters we're gonna unload the truck here they got a water stand we can fill it up with and then the boys will distribute the water with it throughout the week get our water troughs all full so we can keep the animals hydrated working hard and maybe we'll even take a bath in it we'll see but I'm assuming we're probably gonna get rained on this week we always do funny story about this trip is it's an annual trip we do every year and the Nodwell was actually sitting out here on this old ranch and I drove by it one year and I drove by it the next year and drove by it the next year and I kept telling myself I should find out who owns that so I called and talked to uh, John out here and he said oh I know the owner so we called and talked to Brent and Brent said yeah I'll sell it to you so he fixed us right up with the Nodwell so that's kind of the history of where it came from it was sitting over here on the ranch under a big old cedar tree they've had a lot of rain out here too by the way they've, uh, all the ponds are full So we're out at a Deer Springs Ranch headquarters. We come out and I'll show you where we got our longhorn cows from. We got this uh, herd out here and they're, some of them are world champs. Big old buggers. This old girl here. A lot of big old cows. Looking good. Rachel's bigger than all of these. 
of that big old high high roller. Look at the size of that bowl. That's what my bowl's out of right there. That's probably his pap. Hey barn. <laughs> Oh, girls. Yeah, they got some size and some color. Look at that big old hoss. Couple buffalo hides in there. Wiki up. Looks like the peacock's roosting in here. The peacock's up there. Peacock! You guys, this is right where the Nodwell was sitting for years, sat in the same spot. They drive by it every year, and I finally got a hold of Brent. And he said, I'll sell it to you. Come and get it. So I was more than happy to be obliged to come out and gather that thing up. It's been a great machine for us. So thanks, Brent. Chuck off at camp headquarters and then we had to get a couple totes to haul up on top of the mountain it's a really really steep grade climbing up there about a three or four thousand foot elevation change so we just take enough water up on top to get us by for the evening and uh, it'll be a real good time and so we'll get up there and get that taken care of and work the Duramax out I'm sure it's a pretty steep grade Deer Springs Ranch, what a pretty place.
working our way up here at 73 degrees. Oh man, what a nice day. So we're gonna top out on Crawford Pass. We're gonna spend uh, Saturday night and Sunday night there. And then we're gonna jump on the wagons and head down across to, uh, towards Kanab. Should be a pretty fun trip. getting up here we're climbing in Leon is up in front of me and he's got a load of mules in there I got a load of water probably weighs about the same but he's hauling a trailer either way we're just getting to the steep spot so we dropped her down in four low and just working our way up through the forest service road that ties into our first two nights camp sure is pretty up here we got all these pink cliffs off to our left hand side there you might see him peeking through the trees here and there but we're sure excited it's dropped down to 70 degrees and we're just working our way in here we had a good spot to pass there so i just got up in front of leon in case he runs into the problem or loses traction coming up this big steep grade if we run into any washouts we'll definitely want to uh help him through and make sure he doesn't tear something up so we're just gonna idle up in front of him if he needs any help and we'll go from there. Sam is going to ride this mule that's never been ridden, so we got it honked up to the trailer. I don't know where it can really go. It can't really go anywhere. It can probably buck, but I don't think it can do anything. Well, you're doing better already than we were in the arena. Seriously. You got some major confidence. Just, just stand on the stirrup. Don't even bother getting in yet. There you go. I guess we tie this. See, that was real rough. There you go. Okay, now get off. Or wiggle there and then get off. Just get on and off. That's all you want to do, brother. Sam, I'm so proud of you. Proud of that mule, I'll too. Love her up. See, I did all the hard work in the arena. Seriously. She's ready to ride. She's broke. Let's you put did a pit. all the hard work? Yeah, I did. Do you think you could have got on her or something wouldn't have been done? What did you do? Trained her. Look at her. You want a bit? Uh, here we go, you Sam. Ready? You want some lube? What are you going to do? Hang on. Get, get the oh my gosh horn. Yeah. Ooh. I about got in your way. I've never seen somebody get on. Now, do I dare get that? Oh, no. She did get she's never, your hat. She's never stomped anybody. She's never has? Never kicked, never stomped, never bit. Well, how, how come we was all worried about it then? You're not. <laughs> yeah, don't throw that thing at Which me. way did this go? I don't know how to run this. You must record. Oh, I think I broke him. He won't. Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Are you Come sure on. you're going to hang out with this rough one? <laughs> That's too much fun. On the trailer. Ready to turn her loose? <laughs> She's going to knock you out. Mule training 101 right here. Crawford Pass.
we'll leave that on her all day tomorrow. Just like a hair net. <laughs> Keep that big old long mane nice. Aww. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we're uh, we're gonna teach. We're breaking Sam Goobler. He's breaking Sam right Goobler. Well, don't let it get Sam too far away from you. Who's? Am I helping doing okay. this? Here, I. Are I'll, you filming? I'll be the drag. You're the anchor man. I'll You're be nuts. The drag. All right, here we go. Well, I gotta have some help on this line. Well, I'm oh, filming. You never said that. <laughs> Whose side are you? Callie, on? come film. She's already leaving. I can tell already. Okay. It, okay. If it goes that way, get, holy crap, he's gonna die already. Here. Okay, we ought to be on the same side, you and I. Yes, we probably should, but that's okay. You want to ride her tomorrow? I don't care. All right, here's the story. We brought that green broke mule that just had a little ground driving work done on it, and you can see what we're doing. We're riding that old girl around camp. We haven't even named her yet, but she's only three years old, so we'll see what ends up happening here. I think Sam's probably going to get his butt dumped off. Never had a rider on her, other than in the round pen. I'm impressed. Well, they took off, they, you, could drop, you could drop them. Yeah. And we left camp in a stampede first day out of the chutes. That's the only way to do it. Those right? guys are going to be kicked out of camp. Be a stampede well, at the, the beach. The, <laughs> the only problem with that is it depends on where they're at in position. We're and always the in the back. I know, but if you go blow, blow them past another team and start them going. Starling. Oh, really? Hi. Are you jealous? <laughs> Cause I'm talking about him. Mm. Get your ass out of the way. Hey, you're cogging the film here. Oh. He says, well, look how cute I am. Oh, hi, little buddy. Hi, little buddy. <laughs> oh, he says I'm the cutest of them all. Can you bray for me? All right. Well, I'm working my way up in here on the the loop trail above Crawford Pass. Gonna haul two totes of water up. Make sure we have water on our lunch break on the first day. So I'll do a water drop here and then uh, head back down.
had to camp and hang out for the rest of the evening and just be able to enjoy tomorrow without having to shuttle any water anywhere. Got breakfast out of the way this morning. I probably should have filmed some of that, but we're just getting geared up and getting ready to go here. And all our wagons rolling. Well, we missed all the action. We went down and camped. There's a hunter there that had a dead mountain lion, and I don't know if you know what dead animals do to some animals, some mules and horses. But my mule went to sun fishing, and she pitched me in the air like, "What's that guy's name?" Like Monty Hawkeye Hanson, I was riding it out and decided after jumping a big log I was going to abandon ship. So I pulled up the brakes and kicked my feet out of the stirrups and almost landed on my feet. Don't forget the part about getting violated by your by your kids. Oh yeah, I used to have a holder on this camera that had like a stick and it broke off. It was sticking right there in this hole and it about went up my sphincter. But we had a good old time and we're working our way in here to catch up to the wagons. We'll get all the logistics figured out, and we're usually stuck in the back. And we're just gaining up on these guys up here, taking a break on the switchbacks right now. They got to blow a little steam. So see if you can hold her shy of them, Sam, so you're not up in the mix with all that. Yeah, stay back here. Don't go up there with her if you can stop her. There you go. There you go. Oh, well, I was thinking about hollering at you. Don't pass it. I don't know if you can avoid it, Sam. But huh? If you can get behind it, stay Please. behind it. Well, just like usual, we missed the action again. We got a wagon sideways in the trail. We had to run back down there and get it gathered up and get them turned around and headed out the other direction. But we're riding back in here, taking the shortcut trail underneath the cliffs, working our way in here and uh, just see what we can do to, oh yeah, catch back up with the wagons. But I took a picture of it here for, I'll throw that in, let's see what we were dealing with. and. When people's safety are on the line, we don't normally get a camera out. We usually just pay attention to the task at hand and get things taken care of. So we'll work our way along the bottom of these red cliffs and see what we can do to show you a little bit of where we're headed today. I tell you one thing about this. Is cameras never do it justice. What I'm experiencing and what I'm seeing and smelling, the places that we've gone, the things that we've done, you can never catch it in camera or write it in a script. But man, if you ever get the chance to come out and ride a mule in the wilderness, southern Utah or anywhere else, you should take that opportunity and take the opportunity to remember your heritage and the struggles and sacrifices our ancestors made to settle the West. And it's still pretty rough and rugged out here. As fast as it's growing, there's still a great opportunity to get out in the great outdoors and just enjoy it and be part of the outdoors it's good medication for the soul leave your troubles behind through this mess what's left of the trail from the big rains oh yeah that is amazing we're 
working our way around here, having a good old time, giving a little hoot and holler down the canyon. That's a baby arch right there. It's uh, got sunlight coming through it, so pretty dang amazing. Look at that mess. Wow. Amaze balls. so pretty. Well, we're working our way off the switch back here. We got the rest of our mule crew behind us. Got that white mule's never been rode. This is only its third ride, so we're working our way down in here. Wagons are in front of us going down the grade. And looks like Brian and Gerilyn lost their switch. Leon's gonna be a kind gentleman and get off the Eiffel Tower, pick that stick up. So anyways, we're gonna take the cutoff trail again. See the wagons down there on that lower trail. We got to get all the way down there on these switchbacks where they're at. Well, you know if you can see them with this lens. Isn't that amazing? But we get a ride in. It's like heaven on earth. <laughs> what do you say, Leon Goobler? Say I'm having the time of my life. Prettiest place. I don't care where you live in this world. There's a lot of places that are pretty. Southern Utah has it all. Here we are in the just outside of Bryce Canyon and very Bryce Canyon-esque type of the country. Good people, good food, good friends, good adventure. It's just absolutely amazing. Here we are. Riding the best fuel ever made. It was promptly ejected. <laughs> promptly. He, well, he had his GoPro on front on the front of his saddle, and he almost got a colonoscopy. Let's see how long that is. So this is for you, Casey. I'll take it. Son, I gladly take ten seconds in the saddle, or a lifetime of watching from the stands. His Stetson was faded and battered and worn. The stubble of his beard showed flecks of gray. His limp was severe for a leg had been torn by a bronc in his rodeo days. He hung around the chutes while we waited to mount with a faint look of longing in his eyes. He spoke very few words, but he made them count. He was broken, forgotten, but wise. He said life is just like riding frogs. It's a battle, and he rolled a cigarette with shaky hands. 
fun I gladly take Ten seconds in the saddle For a lifetime of watching from the stands I notice the cigarette burns on his vest And the remnant of a dream left in his eyes The boys said that he could have well been the best Had not fate cheated him of his prize Oh, but I learned a lesson that I'd never known from this guy who'd been busted so bad. It's better to ride even if you get thrown than wind up just wishing you had. He said life is just like riding broncs. It's a battle and he rolled a cigarette with shaky hands. For a lifetime of watching from the stands. Amen. <laughs> well, the pucks getting tried to run him down, but the stranger was too quick. He stepped aside and threw his arms around the horse's neck. Well, he pulled himself up on the back of the one they called the brute. Sat like he was born there in his continental suit. Well, the brute's high mare was in the air, his front end on the ground. Kicking and a squealing, trying to throw the stranger down. But the stranger didn't give an inch, he came to ride the brute. And he came to ride a buckskin in his continental suit. All right, we're having a heck of a good time out here. We're working our way in towards Canab. We got hooking and hitching and chasing. We got all the wagons lined up here. Gonna get headed up the trail here in just a minute. All right, got Bell and Jackson all hitched. Morning, Mary Sunshine. Morning. How's oh, Buttermilk doing? Oh, Buttermilk. Start the Buttermilk game. Yeah, buttermilk, you got buttercup, buttermilk, and Della. Okay. I think we're all set. Lawrence and Paul up there, they got their notes. We got the Feltenberger crew. Hey, I got laid and I, I got caught laid the crabs. too. Look at this. Oh, you got crabs <laughs> I got, too? I got laid and I got crabs. Watch that, Dave. That's <laughs> terrible, isn't it? Hey, not the old That's one. like gonna her Pacifolades, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Hey, good. Got Whitey going on here. Kelly over there got laid too. So did Whitey. Yeah, I got lucky. Looks like all these Californians got laid. Yeah. How's the trip? Yeah. Awesome. I got my most obnoxious shirt that I possibly could. Well, you're doing better than me then. Okay. Don't be afraid to kick Russ. Yes, sir. Looking good. All right. Leon wanted to hitch your team while you were gone and give him a good workout. Sam, tie that in a knot. You don't need those front reins. They're on voice command only. <laughs> well, don't go alone. Let me jump in there. You ride your mule down to the mountain lion? To see it? And the Matthew, Matthew and Emily team up here. I think it's more the Emily team than it is the Matthew team, but we'll see. Howdy. Hi. And then Brian and Geraldine Smith team. It's more of a Geraldine team than it is a S Brian team. It's Hawaii day, that's why everybody got laid today. You didn't. Oh, you got laid. I did. Good I job. followed after you. You want my spurs?
What about the boogeyman? Yeah, what about the boogeyman? Guys. Now we're talking. Ah, the girl. All right, mercy sakes alive. We've just about had a couple rodeos leaving camp, but we made it. They'll get on the first straightaway and hopefully everybody will be fine. Got a little excitement there for a minute, but all in the day's work out here on the wagon train. They're calling me the water boy. They've been calling me the water boy all weekend, but man, them mules have a drink every time they need it. Got about 2,000 gallons on and I'm headed for the next camp about nine miles. This old girl's running pretty dang good. We're climbing this big old steep grade. I'm down in low granny with 2,000 gallons of water and I hope I make it to the top. If I don't, I'm gonna abandon ship and it's gonna be a water bomb ended up down there at the bottom. I was getting pretty worried there for a second but finally life through it we're working our way up here and that'll get your butt puckering for sure see what the downhill like but it's got pretty good brakes i got a hand brake and a wheel shock if i need it and then have a pickup truck pull me to the top it looks like we're going to be all right Filming what? I don't know, the, the moment. I always Capturing film the moment. The Capturing the moment. Okay. All right, we got everybody. Say hi. Howdy, hey. how's it going? Hey. Let's go. Casey's channel. Oh, hi Casey's channel. You gotta take it easy, you got people all the way around the rim. Oh, really? <laughs> they look like a bunch of vultures. <laughs> I think it's overweight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody smile. Get down here, Paul. Hey. Smile. I didn't want to put her in a group. Don't do it. What's up, Brian? Hi. Let's get a move on. It's not so much sour. Little mango.
gonna all walk around the map. Working that old mule, we're gonna hitch it up. Take it for its first dig in the harness, see what it does. Come on, let's go. Look at that. Are you kidding? <laughs> Kinda anticlimactic, isn't it?
Is that recording? It's been recording for the last 15 minutes. He said this is no place for an old boy like I. In this new world of asphalt and steel. At my wagon. They need to look off someplace in the distance. Is it time lapse? What is this? Sure. Let's go. Lunch is the best part of the day. You should have been in our horse race. Yeah, where were you for the horse race? Yeah. I was in victim. I was in doing Even though I thought it was really. a bad idea. <laughs> Nothing to say? You're yeah. you like your dad. Well, we didn't know we were talking. <laughs> Eat some more peanuts. Party on! Let's go! <laughs> Get one for this guy. Get this one, leave him too. Oh, yeah, that one. That one. <laughs> oh, hey. Whoops. Uh, it's alright, Casey. Oh, yeah. Let's be back on there. <laughs> Gotta go! Well, that was exciting. We had a bucker going on there. He come through right here. 
crossed up and all of a sudden that even or broke and he took off bucking through the yim yams over here got parts laying around here in the miscellaneous department oh had to do a little chasing <laughs> <laughs> you can do your job. I'm sure you can. Okay, and I'll be glad to. Because I still need some help getting that suspension out of my cracks from climbing that first big grade with 2,000 gallons of water. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.